The reintroduction of ground effect in Formula 1 has also brought with it the return of a less attractive phenomenon, porpoising. The phenomenon where the car goes up and down on the straights because of the suction effect is constantly interrupted. A number of teams manage to get the bouncing pretty under control, but there's also teams that are less advanced in solving the problem. According to Wolf, all drivers have gathered in Azerbaijan to discuss the porpoising problem, with 19 out of 20 drivers agreeing. It must be solved by the FIA. According to the Austrian, there was only one driver who disagreed, Fernando Alonso. But from the writers, there is now a very different story. Wolf did a lot of lobbying for a rule change in Formula 1 last weekend. The Mercedes big boss wants active suspension to be introduced so that bouncing is a thing of the past. According to Wolf, almost all drivers had agreed, except Alonso. But if we are to believe Lando Norris's words, he completely disagrees with helping Mercedes. The young Briton says Mercedes has an easy solution to stop the bouncing, but that they're rejecting it because it reduces performance. If the Hamilton and Russell team wants to drive safer so much, it should do it itself, Norris believes. You won't hear me complaining, we can all easily go to a lower ride height that saves us time, but that makes bouncing worse. Mercedes can easily raise the ride height and make it less, but that comes at the expense of performance, said Norris in Azerbaijan. The German auto motor und Sport, a very reliable medium, has spoken to the people who were at the drivers' meeting, and they tell a very different story. Not only Fernando Alonso thought that porpoising is not such a big problem, almost the entire field is of that opinion. Even Lewis Hamilton, the man who barely managed to get out of his cockpit in Azerbaijan, was not negative about the bounce on the straights. The seven-time world champion already announced earlier in the year that the porpoising is because Mercedes has its car so low. The only drivers who were critical were George Russell and Carlos Sainz. Christian Horner doesn't believe Lewis Hamilton really has that much back pain. The Red Bull racing team boss likens Hamilton's action to a Schwalbe in football and hopes Mercedes does not get any hopes from the FIA. The aim of Mercedes was to convince everyone that there must be a solution, that regulations need to be changed, but not everyone agrees. 8 out of 10 teams have to vote for a change in the rule and that didn't work. Mercedes hopes to get that done, but because the team is having a lot of trouble with it. Horner has already said that he does not feel sorry for Mercedes. According to the Briton, Mercedes can solve this itself by adjusting the car higher, but Mercedes will not do this because they will be slower. The German racing team therefore takes care of the problem itself and makes a big show around it, and so does Hamilton. The Formula 1 analyst and commentator of the British Sky Sports, Martin Brundle, also believes that Mercedes must find a solution from the problem itself. This is because there are teams that have found a way to stop the bouncing. If one team can do it, the rest should be able to do it too. Especially a large and experienced team like Mercedes. The team has to get it done because it's Mercedes's problem, not Formula 1. It looks very uncomfortable, no doubt about it, but Mercedes can solve the problem. According to Brundle, it would be unfair for teams like Red Bull Racing if the FIA now introduces active suspension, something Mercedes would very much like to see happen. But it seems the FIA will go on and investigate the porpoising issue. Toto Wolf did a good job to get this fixed with the FIA, even with a lie, but this is all part of the game. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to not miss any F1 news.